Hello again guys and welcome to another video. For this I'm going to draw the Halmet in on the, one of the Ninth Sisters. She's like the, one of the main bad guys of the game. And she's got a glossy black helmet and I thought it'd be nice tutorial to see how we could do that. It's fairly simple to do with gloss black, it's just it's just black basically but there's parts of it which when they reflect light it's really harsh white light on top of the black and it gives the illusion of you know a, a glossy finish but first I'm gonna put in this isolate which is red so I'll put all that in basically I'm gonna use a scarlet and I'm doing using doing light fast obviously um, a strawberry because that's like an orangey colour and the isolate is kind of orangey and then I've got if I can find the pencil, I've got 100 pencils on my desk. Uh, magenta, because that'll uh, kind of intensify the red in some of the darker areas. And then, oh, I've also got the Derwent Red, which is on this little extender. I don't know if I've got another one somewhere. I've got a Cherry Red as well, but I don't know if I'll use that. You might see me use a purple as well to shade out the black part because I was thinking about putting some purple in around here to kind of break it away from the black background but I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to start with, I'll start with the strawberry. About here, because there's a reflection here that's all white and there. So it also reflects in the isolate. So about there, it's just going to be pretty much white. So you just leave the paper white, <clears throat> and the angle will be different because the isolate kind of, well, it must have a, an, a, a different angle to the helmet as well. So that's why it's angled. But I'm just going to shade lightly for the isolate. And I thought I'd just do this live. Hopefully it won't be too long. I said in the previous video, I don't know if you can sit there for hours watching me draw. Maybe you will, I don't know. And I'm just staying light, as you can see it's it's kind of an orangey red. <clears throat> there is a, a pencil called Flame, um, which would probably would intensify this, actually. And I'm just shaping out this red slip for now. And you just stay in light because obviously as I start adding other pencils on top of other pencils they'll start blending and it'll start to uh, take shape I guess. <clears throat> I think I'll put some Derwent Red in. And this is basically, I'm just it doesn't really matter, it's just, it's just like, I'm just adding reds, because it, it's all red, but around here it's lighter, so as long as I'm darker there, that'll always appear lighter, but that part's completely white, so, as you can see, this doing red is darker than the scarlet I've just put down, but it'll blend the scarlet underneath, but I'm not going to spread the doing red into this part, because I need it to be lighter. I probably should sharpen this pencil as well. But. Mm. Just going to sharpen this pencil. Uh, 
I'm just going to edge this part because there's actually a bit of black there just because this, this slit kind of sinks into the helmet and there are some darker red parts but not completely I'm just shaping it at the minute. I'll just call that in a bit more because it's it's dark up this side, it's brighter in this side. And I think now I'll switch to magenta, see what that does. I kind of know what they do anyway, it's just I'll see how it looks compared to my reference photo. You can see you get more of a darker, intense red. So you don't. Because I find with reds, in the doing light fast range, you haven't got any dark reds. And you have to find something that will make it darker. That isn't black because I don't think they mix well, red and black. To be honest with you, I kind of learned that lesson from when I was doing my judge red drawing because it's it's obviously all these suits red and gold, and I'd add some black into it and I couldn't get the red dark enough, and then I just found magenta. So I just I was whacking anything on top of it to just make it darker. And you can see it makes it a bit more darker and intense. I'll slot this down here as well. Hmm. I feel like I should have got the flame as well. So you can get the flame pencil. Okay, this is flame, it's orange, but what it'll do is, it'll obviously make that a bit orangey, which will make it lighter. I might add some white over the top of it as well. well this is basically what sums up how I draw, I just experiment for the entire time that I'm drawing. And, you know, don't be scared to ruin things. Um, it's it's possible it might ruin the whole drawing but I'm fairly confident that I can fix it if it does. I doubt it will. I'm just staying light again, I'm just putting a bit of flame into it because this is an extremely strong pencil. as you can see you can really see it I'm not even really pushing it at all yeah that's enough of that a bit powerful oh and I said scarlet didn't I actually use strawberry I didn't use scarlet in the beginning so I'm picking up strawberry again so like I said, it's an orangey red, and they'll go well together. And I'm just kind of blending that flame that I just added. I'm blending that out so it looks more red. I'm sorry if you can hear a funny noise, that's my fridge right next to the desk. It's one of the reasons why I don't do many live videos because of that noise. I can't uh, filter it out because I'm not a video expert.
I'm just lightly scribbling over top of that orange or flame to make it red again. If you come for just the gloss black tutorial, you can probably wind it on a bit. I will get to it. I just thought I'd draw the whole helm, the the whole helmet out for you, so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I said I was going to add some white, so I'm going to add some white. Wherever the white pencils go. Again, I'll sharpen it. Go over light. It's not a very strong um, pencil white, isn't it? It's just good for blending lighter skin tones, stuff like that. You can get much better ones from different companies, like a like a day went Chinese white or something like that. And you can push that up there. And it just looks, I know it just looks stupid and a mess, but that's the whole point of artwork. It's just, it's always a mess until you get it, you know, how the reference photo looks. So that when everything else is around it, it makes more sense. And you can keep knocking the drawing. Here's here. Kind of push that out into that white block that we left with the white so you get rid of them harsh, harsh edges Starting to look like how I want it, so I'm gonna come back over again with the strawberry. I'm just staying light again. Like I said in well, pretty much all my videos, it's kind of like back and forth through the layering lighter darker lighter darker you just have to have the uh, I don't know the mindset of knowing what you're doing as you're doing it it's just you know the, the, that the shade of red that I want I know I know if I had this much white it's gonna knock it down this much I had this much darker red it's gonna put it back up because they blend with each other so I know that this is gonna create an even lighter strawberry because I've just added the white under it, and as you can see, it is a lighter straw, but it's also blended better because it's an extra layer on top. Not even pushing, I'm getting very, very light. I mean, it's, it's probably a deal with light fast thing because they're very, very soft pencils, but. So 
Sorry for going quiet and concentrating. <laughs> Still just shaping that slit. Okay. The other thing you can do to blend that out a bit better. Where's it going? You find that everything disappears when I need it. Right. Need to sharpen everything. Colorless Blender by Derwent. Like I said, multiple companies do them. It's basically just a colored pencil with the binder, no pigment, so it's clear. And you can just draw over the top and it'll blend out your colored pencil. And I'm using it because it gets rid of them harsh edges, because I just want the reflection there. I'm just blending out all the edges. It makes everything softer and nicer. And that's what I want to basically. It'll make sense when I put all the black in around it because that'll be really intense because it's a much lighter colour than the black that I'm going to add in. Yeah. I'm going to say that's basically it for that part. I might go back into the slate later on as I add the black because like I said you can add things in and then you can change your mind on certain parts that you've already drawn. So I think I am going to add the purple in as well so yeah, we go. yeah I'm going to add the purple because I've got like a I don't know, maybe like a like a cloud and then it goes over this planet that's sitting here and there's like this steeple so it would make sense that it would reflect on the helmet so and also it will bulk up the black quicker I wouldn't have to shade over and over so many times if you get what I mean so okay So this is now the start of drawing gloss black, if that's what you've come for. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too bothered about this outline I've done here and here. I've I've just put them in just in case I decide to use them, but I'm not going to, you don't need them. It doesn't really affect the overall shape of the helmet. I'm keeping in the harsh lighting, so you've got harsh lighting here, there's harsh lighting up here. Which has a bit of a blue tint to it, but um, I might make it a purple tint. Because it's, it's set up more like a poster, you could see that like the lights here was creating a blue tint, but uh, our posters work as sometimes they kind of like the elements of the poster of the have got their own color scheme <laughs> so this will have like a purple color scheme blue color scheme i've got like all black star field and then it's all pretty much white with some you know hieroglyphs and then bd1 which i'm going to use i'm going to have a reflection from the lightsaber like he's sitting on kel's chest 
kind of thing. So it's fine if you change the colors on your different characters. Again, harsh lighting down this side, so I'm not doing anything with it. Um, I am going to change the shape though. It's more like that, so I can shade that part out. It doesn't matter if this part's a mess, it won't make a difference once it starts blending out. You're literally just shaping it, so. You don't need to be neat. And I have nothing to say about this part because I'm just shading purple. Again, I'm just going to keep in this bit. Like that, and the rest can go. Like I said, you just uh, I added them elements in when there's line art because I might have needed them. Because it's still, I don't know, like hard metal or plastic that you're drawing or whatever, so you'll have some harsh edges. This again is where really harsh lighting would be. Kind of going for the the face that are actually on the mask as well. Don't mind if you put an edge on it, because like I said, you can blend it out because it's. It obviously wraps around the mask like that, so it wouldn't be a harsh edge. It would be quite soft but straight at the same time. Basically, all black, bar a few faded out shapes. So, you just draw them in. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose all that actually. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose all that. I don't think you need it. I'm gonna keep this because that because that shows off the shape of the shoulder so like that. I'm not trying to be neat either at this point I'm just literally shaping in where my lighting is I mean that's like that. some harsh lighting there and She's got light on her shoulder as well.
Um, it doesn't matter. I'm just I'm taking it all the way up to the edge, of where his head is, and I'll I'll find it in between to blend them out. Almost the uh, drove me lot so what's that? Yeah. I said this part's pretty quick. Sorry, I keep knocking the drawer in. I've had to reposition it for the camera, so it's kind of hanging off my desk a bit. As you can see, you can see the shape of the whole thing now. Like I said, I put the purple in because it will help me up to block out this black quicker. Also, I'll probably add a slight purple edge to everything. I might not do it on this because it's about gloss black, but I could literally just use a ballpoint pen rubber and take the edge of the black off, and you should be able to see a bit of purple underneath, and then I can add more purple. That's how that's how I'm going to do it. It's worked before, might work this time. Who knows? <laughs> and I'm gonna use a black, sharpen it again. And you're just doing the same thing again, except you're gonna you're gonna try and make this whole thing black. So that's all it is. It's completely black. in the drawing you know it's kind of try to keep it moderately light when you scribble over it and just keep layering over it because if you go too hard straight away you'll end up with a wax bloom <laughs> and you can ruin your drawings I've got a video on my channel that says how you can get rid of them when the whole thing's done you just spray it with a like a, a spray on varnish, a matte varnish and it flattens everything but again you still have to be careful because them spray can spit and if you spit varnish you end up blobs of varnish so you have to make sure you know the nozzle isn't blocked or anything so every time you do it just be careful but it does get rid of wax bloom it completely flattens the artwork and also you get UV protection as well so that's that's why I do it this hasn't really got any wax bloom on it, not much anyway. It's probably because my technique's getting better. I tend to shade up in like increments of hardness. So if this was me about a year ago, right now I'd be digging the pencil in to get the black on. Whereas now I just keep shading and layering and layering and layering. And it's much better. But well, on occasion, when I'm on a bad day, I'm just like taking the pencil in. But as you can see, I'm still achieving that jet black by constantly just shading over the same spot lightly and not digging the pencil in. See, got a nice black there. No wax bloom. I also get wax blooms if I'm not happy with, <laughs> like, it, my my shading isn't right, and I'm getting annoyed myself because it's not right, and I'll keep shading, shading, shading. That also give me a wax bloom because I'm just not happy with how it looks. Yeah, so I'm using a moderate pressure, not too much, and I'm just constantly shading over that same area, over and over.
<laughs> this part's going to be really boring because I'll have nothing to say. But I'll put a nice music on in the background so you can just listen to that while I'm sheen up this block. Keep an eye on my mic and the computer because for some reason after about 26 minutes it shuts itself off and then I've got no decent audio. It tripped me last time, but everything was fine. I was like drawing for a few hours and then I went to check my computer audio and it's only recorded about half an hour of it, so basically the whole video was ruined because the, the sound was horrible. sound from your camera is horrible. Again, you don't really need to be that neat, you just, you know, getting that black down. as best you can. You know, the details come later. I wonder how many people are going to scroll this part on. this because this is going to be maybe not no I'll leave it basically there and there you've got whatever's behind there I'll up to kind of bring the helmet out in that edge there so I'll just leave it for now because it's not completely black that's where some of that purple's going to be because the clouds kind of there and if I lay down black and I don't like it to be basically a pain in the arse to get off The trick with this is, is to not get frustrated that you just scribble in black and get impatient and then just start going rah because you will regret it. Sharpen the pencil again. It does help if your pencil is sharp as well. It kind of digs into the tooth of the paper better so that it feels like you're layering quicker. Just 
shaping out that slit. You see it looks better already just by doing that. We're at putting up this side because there is, like I said, a black bit there. It kind of gives it that 3D effect. Yeah, I'm sorry about being quiet. I'm looking at the reference of like if there's a piece of black up there as well, but I don't think there is. Yeah, no, I'll leave it like that. Being careful of the edge, I don't want to put any black in on that into that red because the good chance I'll have to scrape it all out with the scalpel. Because once that black's in there, it's in there, it's like ink on this thing. Colored pencil on paper. It's like ink, it stains. <laughs> Sometimes it can be useful, but if you put it somewhere you don't want it, you literally have to scrape it off the paper with a knife. Which again, the knife has its uses as well for drawing hair, stuff like that. I like using it with black hair, you can just do all black like this and then put slight scrapes up and take the colour pencil off. If you notice that my hands are like jumping like that every 15 minutes, because also my camera shuts off after 15 minutes because of some kind of EU tax law where if you got a video, record it on a on a camera, and it goes over 15 minutes, they have to pay more tax on the camera because then it'd be classed as a video camera. Some lot, some I some it's a red on the internet, so that's why um, it shuts off after 15 minutes, which is annoying. But it's a Panasonic 4K 
video recorder. It also, it also takes nice pictures. So, and it was cheap. It was only 150 quid. Whereas if I wanted a 4K video camera, a decent one, like a brand name one, probably talking about 700 pound, something like that. It's just ridiculous. Because this records really nice 4K video. If you notice, if you go back through some of my videos when I was just using a HD one, I think for some of the last videos I did with that camera, it basically it wasn't doing HD anymore. I think it broke. And I was just in denial about it for about five videos. Because the, the video quality was just shocking. I was just thinking it was me lighting. I was changing all my lights. I was just farting the urge to pay for another camera. But no matter what I did, it was just quality was rubbish. But luckily, found a camera that does 4K for a decent price and it's a Panasonic I'm gonna put the light on because I've got my window open it's casting a shadow as a draw so it not really made a difference but you know it's getting a bit wax bloomy I'm like I'm just you know drawing wax on wax basically but doesn't really matter probably if I start pushing hard now it'll start showing up a lot more but the thing about wax blooms is you can look absolutely fine head on but from my angle it doesn't look fine, it looks horrible, it's like all, all the lights being glared all over the place and it's reflecting everything. Or, from your perspective, down the camera it'll look really bad, but from my perspective it's absolutely fine. So, but I can't really tell. Looks like my mic's still recording for now. Just sharpen my pencil again. I'm just shaping in the isolate, the bottom half. Again, it's okay to go all the way along it because I'm going to the reference photo. There is a bit of darkness under there, so see, it looks much better like that. You can see where I'm trying to do but from doing that I also know I need to go much darker in there well, at the beginning of the video I said it looked alright that's what I mean when you start adding other elements to your drawing things that you previously done you know don't look right anymore 
I could probably add a bit more um, strawberry in there and blend it out into the black. Now I'm looking at it, and probably a bit more flame to kind of you know jazz it up a bit. Well, <clears throat> I can do that at the end. It's no big deal. Nothing's ever set in stone when you're drawing. You can change it whenever you want. change the angle of which I'm shading it so I don't shade into that red. I'll probably add some Mars black in this side to darken it up as well. Um, as you know it is my favourite pencil. nooks and crannies like that. You're best off just pushing like hard straight away and just put the black in because it's just a pain to constantly keep shading over and shading over them little tiny parts. It's pointless. It's just, well as just push into. It's not going to create a noticeable wax bloom in them parts. So I tend to edge by you know pushing really hard. You know, saves you time because as you can see I can just go black straight away but if I did that down here you'd have a really noticeable wax bloom so I don't do it Try my best not to push really hard, just go for it. Another thing I do, I change angles. It's not just because I'm left handed. Because <laughs> if you change angles, you'll cause you shade in more of the tooth. Because you can see that sometimes there's little white bits, which I'll fix later on, like in here. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but my eyes are. So, like, like I said, you can go in with the blender after and just blend them all out. It's up to you. Another thing that I'll actually get rid of them. Is if you varnish your drawing at the end, like I said, to get rid of wax blooms, that tends to get rid of them as well. Don't ask me why, it just does.
and that's the edge of her it's kind of like her neck to her shoulder again that's just going to be a lot purple behind there so you can put that in there that bit it's like one of her little I don't know side fin things that stick out of red You can see the helmet's really taking shape now because I'm shading that black in. Yeah, you can see now it's getting there now. Black's nearly in. But I'm not gonna go in and fix all these parts where you can still see the paper. I'll do that at a later time on my own. Just to save time. I'll just drop one of my pencils. I'll get that later. <laughs> rolled under my desk. All the leads broken in 17,000 places. I'm not buy a new one. Sorry I'm not talking again, I'm just scribbling black, I don't know what to say. connect the rest of the body to this black area here 
if you watch my previous previous uh, gone, the voice is gone. If you watch my previous video, this wasn't put in. So I did this part down here. So as you can see, I've blended black to turquoise to white quite successfully. Well, it's basically the same method as what I did in the previous video. Sharpen my pencil again. Can you draw Yeah, she's looking good already. I can I can see the shape of everything coming out. The helmet, everything is working, so being careful down here. It's probably cut off the video. Depends on how I'll zoomed in in the arm, but I'm trying not to mess with the uh, like the glow from the lightsaber. So I'm still not being neat. You can do all that at the end. I'm not just you know, shaping in the shoulder and everything. Just if you block in this black, you can see where everything is. And when I've done this, I'll go into you know pushing some purple into these harsh reflections and make them more realistic. Still ruin as well. The problem with using like different light fast paper and watercolor paper is when you are drawing your line art out, it can leave like an indent could be really frustrating. So I might start to uh, draw my line out of a blunt pencil or something to stop it from happening. camera shake going
Almost shady den. Okay, we destroy like the lead of the pencil. Just shading black. You go through black, and Mars black like the nothing. Especially if you're doing something, you know, like a star field or something. Destroys black pencils. That should give you the gist of what I'm doing. Um, first, I'm going to go back in with. No, he's joking. The pencil I knocked off my desk is actually strawberry, so I need it. Oh, I got it. All right. Well, it doesn't look broken. <laughs> okay, put this in because the black's already there. You can push into the black; it won't really make a difference to it. But it'll blend the black into that a lot, like cleaner. If you get what I mean. Um, like you'll feel like there's a better transition between the two colours by shading over the black a bit. You can see it already, it looks a bit better. Yep. I'm just going to go all the way around the edge. <laughs> See, it looks a lot cleaner. Compared to the two colours, they work a lot better. I still need to go darker in there, but... If I... There's actually black that comes along there as well. I didn't put in. And blend out that visor a bit more. It's quite, it's quite dark on the side, but it's still needs to see it, kind of thing. But it's weird until so I made that darker and that's gone lighter. Where uh, before I said. I want to put some more flame into it and I'm looking at it, I probably don't need to. Oh.
Yeah, it looks way better. Um, I might put in a bit. Not loads. Another thing about this flame pencil, be careful when you touch black. It like it, it spreads the black and you end up like a mud colour. I probably should have mentioned that. And get the white again. I'm just gonna push some more white into it. You probably think to yourself, like, oh, what are you doing? You're getting rid of all the orange and the red, but I'm not because I'm going to go back over it. And if I take strawberry again and go over that white very lightly, it will blend. With the white underneath and give you a nice you know lighter red strawberry colour. Yep. If I don't keep knocking my drawer in those. Right, I'm going to push some purple into these harsh reflections because even though you got this gloss black, it is reflecting kind of like bits of purple, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm likely just going to edge it with purple. It should help soften up that reflection, make it a bit more realistic. I'm just doing it very lightly. See, it looks better already, not even finished. I'm kind of just doing it because 
you want it to blend into the rest of the drawing right now it doesn't look like it is because you have to kind of find an in-between colour that allow you to transition between the both of them and this one has quite a lot of purple into it so That's a bit down here, isn't there? Almost missed that. And then I could probably get away with putting most of this in purple because it's not. I don't think the suit that she's wearing is gloss black, but the helmet is. You can get away with the purple down there like that. I think I could probably add some white over the top of it, lighten it up. It was actually, yeah, I think that would look better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the colourless blender again but make sure the end is clean because you're on straight white paper and as you can see I've got red in there and red will splurge and spread over the top of that so just sharpen the end off I'm just going to blend out this purple into the white I'm just going over the edge, I'm not like... I'm not getting nuts. Now I'm going to use the white pencil, where are that's going. Yeah. I'm going to sharpen the end off this as well, so it doesn't spread a colour over it. And then you're going to knock some of that purple back, that will blow it. It also creates like a lighter purple as well, which helps with you know the realism and the reflectiveness of the glossy black helmet that you're wearing, not you, but the drawing, not wearing. See, it already looks better. I don't like the horse edge that I've got there, but you can push that out.
Yeah. It already looks better. It's got like a nice harsh lighting. Mixed with a bit of purple. And these are like the detail moments where you kind of just you start detailing and then it starts getting a bit more realistic. I mean, the purple makes sense when I eventually put this edge in. It just softens everything up and makes it look nice. Show my pencil again. I said I'm just gonna give that a lot of purple because I don't think the suit is gloss black, just the helmet. Move everything out for me as well, so it looks a lot not neater. Also means now I can put in the black, well, most of it, to about here. I can put in some black. shape out the helmet. That cloud kind of goes lower, so... I'm using Mars Black now, which is a purpley black, so they'll will go really nice with each other. When I eventually add purple into this cloud, it makes sense.
Look how look at the difference as soon as you put in the black background next to the home. It just black pops right out at you. You can see it's almost, it's kind of, it's like a, it's just purpley, like a brownie purpley black. You can see the difference in colour. And like I said, if you've never watched my videos before, Mars Black is my favourite colour. Mainly because you can shade it over any other colour and it'll make it a darker version of that colour. So that's why I love it. There goes my fridge again, hearing a noise. I'm probably just going to add a bit of purple and shape this side for you so you can see it. I don't want to um, shade in that too much because it's obviously a cloud and a cloud's totally different from what I'm doing so should be alright. Yeah, it looks so much better now I put that in. Um, needs a bit more work, but the last thing I'll probably do. Where is it? Okay, I'm going to sharpen my Mars black pencil. It seems that like this. 
glossy black helmet it's got a slight bit of texture to it so you can use the dot dot method where you basically just kind of dot the edge to create a, a texture effect so you just do that and it makes it a bit more realistic because for whatever reason uh, it just does <laughs> I do this with skin tones putting texture onto skin you know you can just get a darker pencil and start dotting and it creates like a skin texture kind of effect like I've done in here don't know if I actually used it on this I don't think I have I think um, it's too much of a smooth drawing in terms of the portrait well as you can see even I can tell that it makes it more realistic for whatever reason I don't know why well, that edge looks so much more realistic than just going sharp Should be alright, the cloud's pretty much black there anyway. So I can put that in. As you can see, she looks evil. And I'm just dotting up the side. And you just do this all over between. If it's got texture, which it has, it really works. It can kind of shapes the rest of it as well, like these little slits that's in the army. As you can see, you got it's kind of like straight, but it's not because I've kind of done this little textured effect, which you know adds to the realism of it all. I think it's I think it's because that like you, I don't know, like you see if you see things in a straight line, you tend to look at them more than the rest of the whole thing. So your eyesight is drawn into us to that bit. So when you do this, it's kind of like you see the whole thing instead. I don't know, maybe. some block into the
He, yes. Push black into it. Well, more black. As I always say, when, he, when you put more black on, to, on top of something, it becomes a darker version of itself. That's why I love this pencil. Because that really works for me. Like, that bit of dark. If it isn't working, that should be a much, much stronger angle. If you get what I mean. Okay then guys, that's me done for another video. Um, I hope this helped on how to draw gloss black. It's quite simple to do. There are different ways you can do it, but this is you know, just an easy way that I do it. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions about this, about what I've done. I'll answer it if I can. Please like, subscribe and comment and thank you very much for watching.